Let's see, let me orientate myself here. Okay, so we're still at Orton Guard. We just took it. Gotta start doing doing the little upkeep here. Guess we should manage it. Turn off all of these things that I don't want. And turn back on a few things that we do need. Okay, so looks like we're getting a good food supply, so we'll do the granary first. We can build up extra food. Switch that to festivals. Um, I guess we'll drop this guy in there too. We'll drop him in there. That'll help that out. And garrison. I don't know. I think that's a sister probably put all that stuff in there at the end of the siege. Let me see here. There we go. Now, if I drop them off, it's going to throw in wounded troops first, and I don't really want that. So, let me see. You can get some extra stuff. I got horse archers, heavy heart. Okay. This is tricky because I don't want the sister to just immediately put in what what I give her. Just something that can happen, but I also don't want to leave this empty. So, hmm. It's a little bit of a pickle. I'm not sure how to do this. What I want to do is try to give her the troops. Well, let me see. Has he got any... Is they caravan guards for three? Okay. I'll take them. Oh, they're not elite caravan guards, though, so they don't, those aren't as good. Whatever. We just need some stuff to go in there. We don't want this. I mean, it's still pretty good, though. Okay. I'm going to try to do it without leaving the town, because I think it's entering the town that triggers or putting stuff in the garrison. Um, let me inspect your troops. Okay. I want to give you wounded troops. And good. Okay. So that's, she's got a lot of wounded troops. Or take these out for now. We can put those back into the garrison. Yeah, we can just leave her all the wounded troops. Okay, so this does work. This isn't... So I would like for her to have a whole party of wounded troops so she can heal all of those up. Get, um... Get her medicine skill, and pretty soon we can just swap her out as our medic and use that wanderer to be a clan leader. Yay, it's working better than I expected. Okay. You have all the wounded. You have all the wounded stuff. Okay, you can put this junk back in the garrison over a prisoner. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah. In fact, we'll dump some of that stuff off right now. We don't need all this even sitting in the prison. Hmm, because I should keep those. Those would be easy to recruit. This saves you a war horse. Just take those right now. Don't really want that. Okay, those those can go in the dungeon. Actually, I keep them with me because I'm gonna try to consolidate where I'm putting. Let's see. Oh, oh, this isn't. 
Well, it's still, it is still let me do this. Even though, um, I don't have the, I don't own this beep yet. Let's see, just get rid of this stuff, though. Yep, out. Yeah, you can stand you. Keep the garrison. In. Yeah, I can just give them all this stuff for now. Let's see. Yeah, that would be fine for now, and then we can get those back later. Let's see. Do we have any speed problems? We're overburdened. All right. Still got her special stuff. That reminds me, I should just go ahead and buy buy a couple more of these just to have have them and give them to canyons if I need them okay to our we want to keep those that's a lot of meat town might be able to kind of use it or we'll do that okay now are we we're gonna, now we're okay everything's pretty good now okay What I'm going to do is just do like one sweep around here on the way back to Odak and then get the cons guards and then do it again. Um, because so I need more stuff to put in here. I need more stuff to kind of rebuild a sieging party to move on because, you know, we're, we're not going to sit around too long. We need to influence or not. We need to keep expanding and then we'll make the clan parties when we can or hold on to the cities um yeah might as well actually get accusate wanderer to to own the these towns the ones that i'm not gonna keep and i mean our loyalty and security is going to be pretty good from the policies but we might as well but we'll go this way first and we'll save in case there's some weird problem or something. Nope. No freedom. Okay. We should have a new election popping up here soon. Let's see. Yep. We have some infantry and stuff that we can level up. Oh no, we only have one. okay. I don't know what's going on there. You guys can go to these lower powered horse archers. We can move them up. They actually have a lot of them, so you you guys do the shooting. Become big boys. Or maybe I don't have anyone in Formation 6, and I'm just moving everyone. Let me see. Yeah, I guess that's the case. Oh, well. I don't care. Okay, done. I don't see anyone else. Are they stuck in a wall maybe or something? Let's see. Get everyone go. Okay. Good. 
good. She's getting her medicine just from healing up those troops. What am I? Okay. We don't, yeah. You can be cavalry, it's fine. Go in there. Go over there, everyone. Everyone over there. This isn't good. Every. Alright, let me see what this is looking like right now. Looks looks okay. Alright. Here. Drink some coffee. Done, 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 okay. Is it, oh, he's just a party. Okay, good, we can do this. <laughs> okay, no. You you have your hands full with just a castle, buddy. And he's got two buddies. Kind of interesting though. Like he he spawns in like night gear, like a lord. He has like a bulge and a and a pole arm, probably a sword and shield too. I'm assuming. But then his buddies, they spawn like the minor clans. Like he has like um I don't know, I don't even know what that that looks more like a um I don't even I don't remember which what they call the minor clan where it's not the wolf skins or the I don't know. And then he look yeah, he looks like a boar. He's got a V shield and a crossbow. Well, that's okay. Just but I'm taking the town because you guys are not gonna you got plenty to do already. Hello? Let's see what we got here. Twelve of those and this. Let's see, can't we catch you? We can probably catch you. Yeah, you're not. You should have stayed closer to your castle. I don't. I don't even know which one is this, but. Let me see. We'll probably have to kill all those horse archers. Anyways, this one, three. Oh, oh, I guess we don't have any any more. Previously, it made us do that. Okay. What is that we? Ha oh, okay. We have the formations, but they're empty. So that's okay. I will send those horse archers, so one. Okay. Four. 
look that way. To follow me. Oh no, I did the wrong one. Stop. Go over there. <laughs> that was botched. Okay. This is not that many horse searchers. They're still gonna basically not shoot any though, because they have to be like pointed right at them, or they don't really do anything. Oh, they're still there. They're still there in a pile, just riding around. Nobody can, nobody can do this. Like put the crosshair there and then move it in front before you shoot. Nobody knows how to do that, but but the human player. Okay, get up here. Point that way. You got backwards. I put. They said face enemy. And I think if they're like if they're on face direction, and you if you do everyone face enemy, they go into face direction even though it tells you everyone is on face enemy. That's, that's annoying. Uh, it's annoying to have to do that anyway. It's just like just do move your body to where you can shoot the troops. And really good, of course. You got a button where you could just just tell them, "Hey, shoot these troops here. Shoot those." Let's see. See that that still doesn't seem like what I told them to do. I wanted them to move there and face that direction, but they're like they're not facing that direction. Oh well, we're gonna kill them anyways. But it's just it's like they made all this UI, but it's like what what do they think the player is doing with it? It's like we're we have all these options, but it's like okay, we we want them to kill the enemies. Okay, the end. Took way too long for this little crappy party. These, those, guess I should take those, okay. I hate village battles, but at least Kuzite is nice and open. Sturgeon villages, you can very well Fight with a blindfold and feel no difference. Yeah, I agree. I feel like um, sometimes they they just went crazy with the trees, and it's really hard to see. And it really only affects the player because you can get a headache from having to look at all those trees and trying to like move your troops and you know just play the game basically. But the AI doesn't care. And the trees actually don't even do that much. Like, you can put your formation in the trees, and they still get shot up because there's plenty of space for them to get arrows through, and they know exactly where you are. It's like you can't, like, fool them. Like, oh, we're in there somewhere, but where are where are they? You know, like, they know exactly where you are, and they just shoot their arrows at you anyways. So, but yeah, this... These ones are pretty good. You can at least just kind of wait for them to come out of the buildings it's fine actually it's not that many infantry but we can send them anyways they'll probably be, be fine
This a lot of these villages they used to be bugged though where trying to move like mounted troops around they would just stay in this big weird cluster. But they fixed that, so now now it's a lot better. But it used to be there were just certain villages, you know, you couldn't fight on. I'd have to chase them for, like away to another place before I would fight, and I just could not like do the forced recruitment there because the troops would just not uh, cooperate. Let me see. Oh, she's still got a lot of wounded. It's actually taken her quite a while to get all that stuff. Here's the... Oh, see, and here's the other thing where the... Their enemy faction will join them anyways after a while. So the character I guess, have joined the Kuzate. Oh, okay. You can, you can run. I'll come back. Better look around here. Yeah, I don't think they can siege anything right now. Maybe they're slow in the snow, maybe? That just looks like a really, really slow charge. But. Check our new villages. No quests. This is good. I feel like I finally pushed them out so that they're not, you know, constantly getting in there to my area. Let's see, which one are you? You're the... He doesn't have noble troops. Let's see, what does he want? Nope, don't care. Let's see, if I can get here for night, at right at night time, we'll do it, let's see. Okay, it should be time. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I might it could be that I should use these since they will actually have glaives, but um If these die, it's not a big deal, though. I guess I guess it's not a big deal if these die either, though. So we'll do that because yeah, yeah. I feel like trees, weather, day and night. It, like it only affects the like the human player and the AI. I don't even think there's like an 
like a stat debuff or anything for like it being night or it being you know oh it's windy and snowy and you can't see anything or you know but do you when you look at it it looks you know it looks um you ha you have to strain harder to to see like what you're looking at and you know how to aim your you know you guys you can't see that guy okay now that you see that guy <laughs> okay maybe Maybe I chose the wrong troops for the job. Let's see. Move up. Let me see. What is... Oh, there's four, only 14 things in here, so... Let's see. There we go. All right, go up. Two, okay, we can charge, we can charge. I like that I'm faster than them now. I have barely any athletics, but I don't think they have well, I guess I shouldn't say that. Whenever I, I assume something like, oh, the mounted archers probably don't have a lot of athletics because they're, they're riders. It's usually wrong. It's usually they have, like, the same thing everyone else does. And, you know. Yeah. Oh, nope. I should be faster than you. I don't like that, that he shoots his bow basically just as fast as I do. Even though I have, like, near-maxed archery. And the, you know. They just, I think they, what it is is they don't actually close the reticle. Like, they just kind of, like, do this. Like, that's how they shoot. Let's see. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Let's see what kind of what are we into here? Okay, that's not that bad. Some of them are just marauders. Nope. Oh, you're swinging faster than me? I even up upgraded my my full arm skill. He swings faster. Oh well. Okay. Okay, well, oh yeah, I'll take all that. That's fine. I guess I'll take them. I might need them for a quest or something. Let me see. I will recruit you. I just, I, I just let the looters kind of run around. I don't, Probably should get rid of them, but that's okay. That's what the I made a bunch of plans to do. Yep. Oh, good. Cleaning up here. Okay, so she's. I guess she's healed most of her troops. That's weird. It seemed like it kind of happened all at once. Like she had healed a few of them, and now it looks like. I hope. 
I'm really hoping she's not doing something weird like kicking out the wounded ones and just hiring more when we go to the villages. Because that, that, that would be very wasteful. And also, you know, that was my big plan is for her to get her medicine. That Well, I mean, I guess she did alright. She went up from like 27 to 41, so she probably healed him. This is the conundrum, because, like, this seems like it would be obvious, oh, give her this, and then she'll level that up, too. But if she's always going to be my medic, she doesn't need this. She can't use it at all. So, let's see what we got. You can have, have five there, and more writing for now. Let's see, we'll go to our dungeon, into the prison, go, go, go. Just want to save like, like that many, let's get. Let's see, how many pages do I have? We're on to page eight now with filling up our prisoners. So I guess having the, the mounted patrol perk on the governor is useful because before it was kind of sitting at about five pages and they were, you know, someone would, one or two would basically escape every day. But now it's starting to fill up more, so that's good. Okay, let's. Dump everyone in there. Pick out. Stuff like this. Let's see, do I have? I always, there's always more. Okay. I guess I should sell a lot of that though. Let me see. Stuff near, oh yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at all those. These are really heavy, too. Like, they used to not really be that heavy, and then in some update they made them all have, like, I guess, like, proportional weight to, like, what they are. And suddenly I would just notice a super heavy... Let's see. I do need some money, so I'm going to sell the... Sell the more expensive ones. I guess I could do that. I will sell anything that's much more than like... Yeah, we can keep those. This stuff's all cheap though. Let me see. Sell those. And... Now I start throwing stuff away. A hundred and twenty of these, that's, like, let's see, okay. I should have, that was a little hasty, okay. Here, these all, and those, okay. To get through these just because I kind of neglect the horse tack and I just kind of throw it away. I should probably save one camel harness just in case. Like I just put this stuff in the storage because it's harder to pick out than uh, the other stuff. Okay. One more thing. Just one more. Okay, there we go. see how many can I make okay a lot that's good and let's see try to do these guys first and the reason is to me getting these to be raiders 
is about 10 times more useful than if they sit in the garrison and the garrison turns them into horsemen. So the horsemen are just, I mean, they're just like weaker cavalry. They're not not really going to ever, ever do anything for me. But the raiders are fine. The raider is just like a mid-tier archer that gives you map speed, basically. You don't really want to use it like a horse archer. You just want to place it with your archers and let it shoot, but... Okay. Rid of all this stuff. I'll get all this. I don't even know, like, when. 75 arrows. Okay. There's so much. Because sometimes I just, I go dump it all in the stash. Okay. Those. Like. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. There we go. Fifty-four new raiders. We've got here. I'm gonna talk to you about your troops. You see, you still got a bunch of weird stuff. Okay. All right, let's let's think about it. So it didn't seem like they were making any armies right now, so I might be able to just go just do another siege now that I have. I mean, I kind of just bulked up on this stuff. Oh, we'll take... Take these, in case we actually need firepower. We'll take all this stuff. We can... If it survives the siege, we can just dump it in there. Leave these in. They're too useful to waste on stuff like that those and then take all those raiders okay now you too you can come too not you because they're special having a camel saddle is no mistake having at least a companion on a hunt spree is half the fun yeah i haven't got a hunt spree yet today or in this game rather i mean one of my one of the clan parties, their side members spawned on a camel, though, which is... I had never seen that happen before. That they would spawn using a camel, because, uh, you know, the SRI lords, I don't think that they use camels. Unless it's a new change. It could be that it's a change and I just haven't noticed yet, because I haven't fought the SRI yet. They declared war on me, and I just, I could pass peace right away. So I just did that, because I don't, you know, that's like demands all your attention and their parties will probably be like they'll probably be the hardest ones that I'll fight in this campaign because they tend to be like take care of themselves more and like preserve their high tier troops and their horse archers they have less ammo but they're actually really fast and they do do pretty high damage too Okay, I'm going to try to go... I don't know. I don't know which one I want to get. As I mean, I guess I need to get both of them anyways, but... Let's see what we're looking at. They're both like a large militia, militia castle. This one's smaller. We'll go for the big one first. You better stay away from my villages.
I got one escape. Put on my arrows. Where, oh, I have, still have so much stuff with me. I wonder if that's okay. It's not. It's not slowing me down that much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi. You're gonna attack me. Well. I don't know if this is actually, looks like the power is even. Let's see, how far back can we go? Go back as far as possible. Moving back. Everyone spread out. Okay. Now we'll move back even more. Yes. Okay, we're at the back. Almost. I guess they'll still try to squeeze in there, but we can maybe put the infantry actually back there. So they'll have to go into the infantry if they try to come around. Actually, they should go. Put them like the infantry like right there. And they're all smashed together. Okay. Two come out in front. Come out in front right there. That might help. Okay, yeah, that's formation two is being a problem child. Formation four is looking like what they should what they should be. Okay. Oh, they don't even have that many horse searchers. I'm kind of overdoing it here. Actually, four come out in front. You have more armor on. You get in front of the in front of the raiders. I should have paid more attention to how I had them divided because it can be can be useful to just keep the weaker ones in the back. Okay, are you actually actually looking the way I said to look? Uh, let's see, let's try again. Actually, look right there. And let's hold fire. Let me see. Is that even their horse? Head? Okay, that's... No, that's their normal archers. They're they're doing weird stuff. Yeah, I got I have that perk. And you usually you get a lot of good stuff. I got a desert war horse so far this time. Eventually it'll give me a pure blood though. It's I feel like I think it, it is supposed to be random, but I do feel like pretty much every game after I get it I, I start getting a pure blood. And then I get, sometimes I get several too, but um, that's a good horse to have. So they're coming in with their, in with their cavalry, but they're on face direction, so they should be able to just shoot at these. Just shoot him down. There's too many arrows for this to go on very long. I should have put my glaive back on. That would have been a good idea. But... This is all their archers. 
I guess they must have got their infantry like either they're just stuck on something or they were in a shield wall the whole way across the map. They were just like way back there, but it's okay. I'm a little surprised to even see this army. Okay, everyone do that. Four. Four, go up there. Two, back there. Three. Go like that. Okay. Issue all the orders, then turn around and become horrified because they're absolutely not doing what I wanted. Okay, that was pretty good. One, move up there. Make them turn around. Ready. Let's see, are we looking? I don't know. This formation is not doing very well at Okay, one. You can charge. No, oh no, they're gonna chase the archers. No, go, go right there, one. Go right there. They're gonna chase the cavalry around and not do anything. Okay, you go right there. Okay, they don't care. They don't care about the infantry standing right there. Go, go into them. Go into them. Two, oh, not two. Five. You go up there. Get out of the way. Or get a little closer. Okay. Now one, please, please just attack the infantry. Don't chase the cavalry. Just get in there. Close enough. Good enough. Okay. Nahasawi. Yeah, Nahasawi is good. That's the, the fastest horse you can get. I have, I got Clam Sheen in this game. What I did, I just joined the SRI to get the horse and then I, then I left him immediately. It's, it's almost like a pure blood. Um, it has less charge damage though. I think it's the only difference, which I don't really care about that that much. Um, Yeah, yeah. The Beast Whisper Whisper perk is is really good, or it's fun, anyways. I mean, I mean, you could you could just use normal war horses and finish the game. It's not like it's, but but it is really fun to get get the best horses and to get the get camels and stuff like that. Let's see, how do we do it? That was. That was pretty good. We didn't really lose much. Mm-hmm. Look at all these mercenaries. It must be nice to be able to hire mercenaries and without having to catch them on the map. Okay. I'll just take them all. We'll continue the siege. Actually, we'll do this. I always like to do an extra, extra one. I forgot what castle I'm at, but we're just siege. Forgot. In case there's some catastrophic thing. Say someone declared war and I missed it and I closed it and I'm just not paying attention. And we're losing, like, you know, we come back and our, we can't get to our cons guard. There's like a huge thousand man army outside, you know, our main city, you know, something like that. And then we just reload the game, go, oops. Oh, someone's sieging, sieging their thing. I'm glad that they're doing that. I hope they win. I hope they take it back because that just means one less. 
uh, town from the Kuzate, because those rebels rebelled against the Northern Empire. So they're going to join the Kuzate, is what will happen when their 30 days are up. And let's see. Pause. Don't. It's like loot boxes done right. Yeah, it's just fun. I don't think I've ever I'm trying to think if I've ever actually got a loot box in a game. Well, I guess I've played Magic the Gathering, so I guess that's kind of like the got to be pretty close to the originator of that whole idea of you you buy this and maybe you get something good. You know, but yeah, just having a perk that sometimes gives you something really good is, is pretty fun. I wish there there were more things like that that would just, you know, like like sometimes maybe special troops would spawn for you and offer to join you, or you know, just something like that. Like after a battle, you have you have a chance of you know recruiting some just something you know something cool like that more it'd be useful but it wouldn't like make or break the game i never really bought very many packs of magic the gathering though i usually would just it's usually good to just look at the set and then um well no i guess this if you do like a pre-release event that's kind of fun. You can draft. I guess I never mind. I take it back. I guess I have to say I, I don't think I've bought in very many cards just to buy the cards. I usually would do it for like an event or for a draft tournament or something. But then I would buy single cards to kind of actually build the deck that I thought would would win via meta deck. Let's see. Wish I could do this one-handed so I could drink while I do this. I guess, you know, I could. I could use a... I think I could do, like, a Logitech controller. And just put the, put the mouse button on something else. I'm not going to, though. That's silly. I used to do that when I first started playing Mountain Blade. I wasn't used to using a keyboard at all. So I would do all kinds of weird stuff with like a controller to not have to like properly use the keyboard and mouse the way, you know, the way you normally do. And eventually though, I got used to it. Now I just use keyboard and mouse. But I used to have like just like a few commands on a couple of the buttons and I would use the analog stick to move and I'd use the mouse to aim. And that was like all the way I did it because it was just... Let me see. Get rid of these guys. I think I just want to do a normal siege. Try to basically do the same thing I've been doing. Get right in front of the ladders. Wear him down. At some point, though, I don't know, I'm going to probably start being forced to give my vassals more, more stuff. So, I don't know. 
I probably should have considered that before I did the siege here. Because what I really want is, at least for the initial area, to have everyone has one thief. They get one thief, and then, you know, that seems to be the best. Because the money they get from having more than one thief doesn't really help them out enough. It's much better for them to just be poor, have one thief that they can kind of patrol. And then later in the game, when they actually can build large parties and join armies and make their own armies, then it's okay to give them more because then you're, you're just kind of expanding. But right now, I can think I want at least a dozen clans that just have one thief and that just kind of surround my area. Let's see, how are we doing here? They still got a... They got a lot. Got a lot of stuff in there still. Let me see, how are you doing? I'm gonna look at your troops. I want that, you can't have him. Here, I have some, I have stuff for you. You give me these, these. What can you have? You can have all this, this, all this stuff that will almost certainly go away in the, in the, I guess, hmm. So they didn't bring enough, enough fodder for her. Okay, you can have you can have your raiders back then. In fact, I could before the actual siege battle, I could put everything into her party, and then anything that goes down would give her medicine. But that might have some unforeseen effect, though. I need a I need a bigger helmet. I need to cover this up. I need you a nice big helmet for you. Nope. Okay. Okay, you can have that for now, it's fine this and get that too oh she doesn't have a focus okay never mind Having a headache day to day. Some days I just wake up with a headache. And it's just there all day. But it's not going to go away if I don't play Banner Lord. So, I'm play it anyways. And I have to drink the coffee anyway, so that I get an extra headache on top of that if I don't. I've learned that, because it, 
Let's see. Ooh, was that a guy? No. Something. I saw something come up behind me. I think maybe just a... I don't know. I can't explain that. Okay. Let me drink my coffee. They're taking a while this time. You can't move back too far. They're shooting me with a ballista. Alright. Ready you... Nope. Nope. Whoop. They got me. They didn't stop the horse though. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing. I don't know, like, in a way, I like the goofy grins the characters have like that. But it also, sometimes it grosses me out, though. Sometimes the, their teeth, um, I don't know. It's like when they have, like, really red gums and they grin like that, sometimes it grosses me out. I think it also kind of depends on what the graphic settings are too. I think on certain settings it just it looks really it I don't know. It looks bad. But I really like in a warband I like the way the characters look. They look kinda they remind me of like like Muppets or something. Like they just I don't know. Like they don't look cartoony, but they don't look like people. And when they especially like when the camera ties to like zoom in like when you're when you encounter them on the map and just there's something really something I like a lot about it that just I almost want to say it's like the reverse in Canny Valley or something where it's like instead of it looking weird it's like it looks comforting like you know like like it's so not a person that you know there's just something calming about it but Bannerlord doesn't quite have that going on. It's being withdraws and yeah, yeah. That it, it is. I try to drink it even. And sometimes I'm not like, like especially in a hot day. I don't want to drink hot coffee, but I also don't want to drink sweet things, so I can't like make sweet iced coffee. So I have to drink like cold iced coffee, and it's just it makes you realize what what you're doing that you you've created an addiction that now you have to you have to um satisfy every day, even if it's not very pleasant. You're drinking this cold bitter you know drink. So you don't get a headache after a couple hours. Okay, now they're shooting the ballista at me. Well, they got they've got one nomad that was running. They've got three more spearmen still though, so they have. If I go to the doorway to try to shoot them. They will probably send those infantry after me. I think... I think I'm just going to do a normal siege for this one. Because I don't... I feel like with this castle layout, when you, you have to kind of go in the doorway to try to shoot them, and I feel like it, very often they end up shooting me. Or dropping a rock on me. Or something. Something fun like that. So We'll see. If it gives me like way too much trouble then I can back out doing oh good I actually do have 500 influence now so let me see well, I can't look at my party but I should have have this person in my party still okay you've got this you can have that too and more intelligence and then I'll take their gear away and then give them that give them this castle 
Let's see. I guess I have to give it to myself first. I might have to... Might have to be sneaky, though, and make her a clan. Because they might not let me have this castle this time. So I have three towns now. Okay. We're not going to be fooled by this. We know that all this just gets smooshed together as soon as the siege starts. Okay. Go more, more right there. Five. Go right there. Actually, no. You should be... Start at this... I'm trying to think where they can all shoot me. I think... I think it's better to start more on one side. Even though they can still kind of shoot. Let's see. Okay, now we have a two and a five. So two... Get up close. Five. Up close. Right here. Right there. Okay, someone someone got a ballista. See where are the ladder ladders right here. So two two get close to the ladders. And everyone everyone spread out if you can. Okay, this is not what I said to do. You're kind of... I don't even know what they're doing there. Okay. Five. Look this way. I don't know what that was about. That was way too spread out and not in the area I want them. Okay, that's better. Much better. Okay, two. That ballista is still hitting you, I think. Yeah, okay. Get closer. It's better to. And if they can't all shoot. Oh! oh. I was looking at him and he shot me. Okay. We'll see. We might have to do that again. I mean, they should be able... They should be able to just go up the ladders and do a normal siege. But... They're going up the ladder. They're going up the ladder. I'll watch their perspective here. Yeah. It'll be okay. They can do a normal siege like this. It's a little wasteful, but... We'll get the medicine on the sister. See, that's good. Having them down on the floor like that, that's pretty good. They will get to... Well, hopefully... They shoot a lot of them when they come down like that. Let's see. Going up the ladders. Okay, I want to see the enemy point of view. That's more interesting to me. Oh, this is still my point of view. Okay, there... Oh, they're running away. Okay, we're about done.
Let's see. You did it! No, he, he did something. He's got blood all over him, so he must uh, he must have helped do something. Let's see, what's the real damage here? 14 heavy horse archers, 19 raiders, 1... Okay. I mean, it that's it would have been better to lose less, but it's fine. have to send troops now. So what I'll do, I'll send the troops... And then if we have like a tragedy, like our sister dies, then I'll just reload and do the battle again and not get shot by the ballista. But, I mean, it should be fine. So, I mean, massively outnumber them. She's, she's knocked out. Yeah, okay, she didn't die. And we've got influence. So, this. Yes. Let's see, what did she, she put some stuff, that's fine, you can have that. That. Now, I want to talk to you about troops. Give me all your non-wounded troops. Which are a lot more than I would have expected. And you get all the wounded troops. Okay. And you can have some raiders too. So you don't recruit weird stuff. Done. Let's see, what's our problem here? Okay, we got a bunch of way too much stuff here. Just all of them. You can all, everyone get in there. That's fine. We don't have to be greedy about that kind of stuff. What is... Let's get it. got 49 in the garrison. Wait a minute. Let me see. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Have some... Actually, do I want you to have a marksman? I don't know. Raiders, Lancer. Oh, this is just junk. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So just give them the junk. Fifty. Fifty is a good garrison. There you go. And let's see. I think they will probably, they'll try to do something if I leave. I don't know.
we'll just wait here. We'll wait here. Usyk is under attack. Which one? Oh, right there. Oh, I don't have to tolerate that. Here I come. Wait, okay. Is he the... Who, who is the leader? Oh, okay. Yeah. We shouldn't have been raiding my thing. Do that there, do drag. Everybody face that. No, that wasn't that wasn't what I meant there. That's better. Okay. Put, put you right there. Okay. Wow, they they don't they don't have many horse searches being the Kurgans. You guess am I on the defender's side since I own the thief? I don't know. I don't know why we're behind buildings. That's okay though. The infantry can hide behind the buildings. I should get out there and deal with some of this. I didn't put my glaive on though. You don't don't use your throwing weapons. Just, just keep walking towards, yeah, okay. Oh, now eat that one. No, stop using your throwing weapons. Don't. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, I guess, uh -huh. No, I'm not going to take prisoners right now. I need to be any slower since it looks like I'm going to have to actually mop up all this stuff. Come here. Okay. Okay. They all, they're greedy. A bunch of good guys. Yes, give me my thing. Now let's go closer to the castle first. Oh, look at you. Okay, we'll put you right here. Go into what? Where's my? They're not there. Okay. That's okay. 
I can I can use this trick to get a hold of them. That guardians is good. That's not good. It's not good. Super food. Okay, yeah, they need gardens first. Stools games. Tank hay. Okay. Now come into my party. Okay. Time to be reborn as a clan leader. You don't need any of this stuff anymore. Even this, well, no, I don't know. I don't know if this stuff matters for making them spawn in gear. Reward you for the Usyk Castle. Go. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't like to name them all. Let's see. Sandina's Riders. There we go. That's. What? It's an invalid character. Okay, we can't. That's fine. And get one more. Okay. That's good. You. Come here. Are you the guy? No, vital. Okay. These, these guys are just a nuisance, but they can still take out, like, my new, my new vassal clans. They're going to be very weak for a while. And these guys will just beat them. The guy's pretty excited. I'm gonna try to just I'm gonna take my chances and use the restroom while they fight. I'm gonna mute my mics so just make a horrible noise.
Okay. You gotta be more creative. Why not Zamora the Desert Rose? You know, I used to try to be more creative and interested in what I named them. And what would happen... What would happen is I would, you know, I would look at their their name, and their history, and try to think of something fun, like, um, like you know, you have ones where like, so and so the leopardess, you know, and I'd be like, oh, okay, so they're now they're the they're the steppy leopards, so they're my leopards, and you know. They they have a castle out here now, and then I would make them, and then they would get like the emblem would be like a pig or something. You know, they just they get their emblem randomly, and you can't pick it for them. So then it would just ruin it because you have oh the steppy leopards, and it's like the you know a boar or some you know one of the weird you know like pseudo Celtic looking emblems. You know something that just doesn't match at all, and that would happen almost every time. So now I, I just kind of look at their name and okay, it's your clan. Let's see, even graders. I don't have to do that right now. Yep, more you. Let's see. I guess she healed her wounded. Oh, good. She's up to here now. Nope, you gotta walk it off. You're not gonna be waiting around. Guess I better... Hunt down all these guys if I can. Zandina, the Spice Vendors party. Let's see. Zandina's Riders. That, that's okay. These are good. I like I like the Spice Vendors though. I think they're good. It's too bad. She won't spawn with a crossbow. She'll probably never get any crossbow troops to use those perks, but that's good. Okay, this this party's too small to be worried about. Let's see. Go up there. Actually, do the opposite. Four, you move up. Two, you follow me. I'm never going to remember to put my back on. I don't know what they're doing. They didn't they hardly killed any of those. Oh well. Okay, two go up there now. Okay, now get closer, get right behind him. Get running. Nope, don't throw that. Don't do it. What is left? Something. Okay. The end. She got knocked out, that's okay. My general's name is Bert the Puppy Muncher. You would feel someone with that name, right? I think it fits his position. Yeah. That's... That would explain why there, you know, you don't see that many dogs around 
in Bannerlord if you've got the puppy muncher on the loose. I want to carry. No, I don't want that. Get out. Get out of here. Oh, there's a camel. It might be time to start doing like a controlled release on the Kuzades. Come on, come here. Hmm. Just like let one plan go at a time and then go beat them up and try to max out relation with them and then just do that like figure out which ones don't have a fee. So at some point here, I can take some of them as vassals, and that kind of that'll help me out when I have money to give them, and I don't have influence. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Nope, that's not that many. Let's see. Five. Okay, everyone, everyone, move up. Our troops are all mixed up, so I don't know which ones are the sisters, so I can't just kind of send them in there. Alright, we'll try just letting them run wild this time. I guess it's so many that if most of them can shoot, it should they should hit something. That's going to be a lot of arrows coming through. It doesn't seem like... I don't know. It's okay. Unless they, they end up getting stuck in the shield wall, then, then it's not okay. But Okay, there. One guy. Oh. There we go. That's... Gone are the days of being able to just let them circle. There's always some funny guy riding up there like that. shoot me stop it no no you're shooting me okay someone got me yeah it's like it seems like over to kill to try to move the troops behind him here But it's probably still faster than just letting them charge. So, like it took them a while to kill those, and they didn't really do it cleanly. And I guess sometimes it's hard to draw the line between creativity and creepy. Well, you never know how things come across. Like. And that's the thing, like, I have a funny name that I name my male characters when, like, I start a game as a male. But then I realize if I just say it out loud, it's not funny. It sounds like I'm just being gross. Um, Because it is gross, but, like, the way it's spelled out as a name, I think it's funny. Let's see, well, let me rename here. I don't know. I'm just going to write it out how I spell it. Let's see, where's the thing? Oh, I was forgetting. Okay, I go here and then click on here. 
Oh no, this just lets me edit it. I can write it. I'll write it in the chat. My male character's name is... And I think, I think that's really funny. It's, it's stupid. It's like really juvenile, but I think it's funny. But then if I say that, like if I say that now, it doesn't, you know, that just, it sounds even, you know, even worse. Like that's kind of gross. But, um, I think it's funny to, you know, to write it out like that, like a name. So I do it too. I name my character, the female character, I name him Kegels. And I just, I think that's funny. And I had lots of awful names for them too, like in, like when I played Mountain Blade, I used to name the characters Slimy Saddles. And I thought that was pretty funny. And then, um, I wore, in a Banner Lord, I wanted to name the character, like, a female Guts. Like the, you know, the Berserk main character. But, um, I didn't name her that I named her something else if you can if you can imagine um something similar sounding but uh then I realized that it was not appropriate for like posting bug reports like if I repo you know give a save file to the developers you know oh there's this bug you have to investigate and the character's name was was that a word that starts with a c and of course it ended with you know it was like guts but you know and i thought it was really funny but that i didn't i didn't think that worked well for reporting bugs and showing like video clips with that in it so that this name is funny it's kind of the same idea also kind of sounds like a clown which i, I think works for you know a lot of a lot of the stuff i do in the game is kind of trying to find weird little exploits you know kind of punishing the ai and you know doing I'm kind of clowning around, so I think I think it's a good name. It's not overtly disgusting. Okay, so they've ran away. What do you want? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yes. We can do that. Here they come. Yes. Let's see. How am I doing? Okay, everything's fine still. I didn't mess anything up yet. Do this quest. Still didn't put my glaive on. Time I remember to put it back on, it's gonna be time to take it off again. Okay, go on, finish him off. I have to talk to him to resolve it. 
I still can't. I'm not 100% sure if taking the money actually changes the relation you get. I'll let him keep it, though. Okay, gave me 20 relation. Maybe it does. That seems like a lot. Good, yeah. Give me all that. I want all those things. Let me see. Let me check on how the Kuzades are doing. They're just fighting me. me. Look at my diplomacy. So they're kind of hanging in there. I think as they keep hiring and cycling through the mercenaries, their power keeps kind of just staying around right here, even though most of them are in prison. Uh, let's see. They got Gilman. They got Benny Zali. Forest people. Karakurga. It's four. I guess it's... Oh, they also have, like, rats. They got five mercenaries under them, so it's okay. Let's see. We're paying... Paying them 1.5k a day as tribute. And I never fought them. I just, as soon as they declared war... I considered it that, you know, it just means every two days I'm going to have to ride down to the south of the map and fight a SRI army is what that means. And then I realized I could just make peace since the vessels can't actually, like, overrule me yet. So I just did that, and that's fine. And now I can focus on the Kuzate. We're making a lot of progress here. And then when we're done, when we get them out of there, and then... We can fight the Sarai and we'll be fine. And also, Rigay is paying me. She's paying me 1.4k a day as tribute. So that almost balances it out. It's basically like her money goes to them and we're fine. To be honest, I did that on purpose. I'm not that detached. Desert Rose is nice. And absolutely fine. Puppy Muncher is not so much. But thanks for your empathy. No irony. Sometimes I like to make fun of myself and see how people react. Didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Sorry. Oh, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. Um. But. Yeah, I, I put a. I think it's funny too, but then I have to remember that, like, some, you know, like, like if I go on Tail World's forum, that's not like, like the internet. You can't just say whatever you want. So it is like I don't want to put in like a save file with like a, a name and have them look at that and be like, okay, block this guy. We don't care that I, my kids came in the room while I was fixing the game and they saw, saw a name that starts with C and. And it, like, guts. It does, now, now I have to explain that. Ban him. You know, that could happen. Probably not, but... Let me see... I still need more influence. And take this castle. I think I just need to keep collecting troops. Basically replacing what I lost in the siege. And... I don't think I need to switch to my good troops right now either. Because th these seem like they're doing fine for... Um... Oh, okay. They've... Hi. Yeah, I would. Are you the... Oh, you're not the ruler, so okay. Chris. Or Mark, I, think, I don't think I can go that far away, though. Wish you guys would stop taking my troops, though. These are for me.
New York. So I'm missing the actual village when I try to click it. Yeah, I like to make people uncomfortable too. I can't do it. Um, I don't think I, I don't know. I actually don't know the terms of service for Twitch very well. I know that when I watch other people on Twitch, they're pretty conservative about what they'll say and show. So that makes me think I probably uh, probably shouldn't make too many jokes because you know without double checking what I can actually talk about. Not that we need need that while I'm playing Bannerlord anyways, but I do know it's a little stricter than like on YouTube. Wait, I should read his quest. What do you want? Okay, I'll train your troops. I can do that. Oh, they're raiding one of my things. Little mercenaries. Okay, I have an idea. I know what to do. See, the reason they're the reason they're raiding so much is because I have all the lords in prison. I think, well, or, or almost all of them. have almost all of them in prison so nobody can make an army because the mercenaries can't actually make an army so that's why they're just running around raiding and i think if i let out one of the normal normal guys then they will make an army and then they'll all be collected together and it will be much easier for me to just round them all up without having to hunt, chase down little parties. So we'll do that. We'll, so I have this lady. We'll let her out and see how that works out. It might be my father planned to call me Ambrosius. Luckily, my mother didn't let him. Yeah. I don't know. I guess they could maybe. I don't know because they would. Cause people give their kids these, you know, unique names, but then they try to give them like a more normal name, made out of their unique name. So I don't know, but like, I mean, I guess if they were gonna call you Amber or something, you know, I mean, I don't know. That's how it is. That's. So it usually seems to be that like they, they want to give the kid a unique name, but then they don't actually want to be saying the unique name all the time. Let me see. So. Who are you? You are... You're from Mongchung. I don't want him out. Let's see. And at... Oh, you both are. You're both... Okay. Oh, I guess I guess they left. They're not sieging anymore. Okay, we're going down here. Go to the dungeon. We want to end the dungeon. Let me see who. What I need to do is figure out which Kuzites don't have any peeps anymore and see if I can start to butter them up. These guys are pretty good. They still have a peep, though. They have a castle. Let me see. I have a little relation with you. They're only plant rank 3. He might, they might be good ones to let out. We'll, we'll try that. That's a good start. So I want gas again. This is, I always forget, I forget how hard it is to actually remember which ones I'm getting. 
Let's again just throw them back. Have I have we grabbed the wrong ones? Where are you? Gus gun. Let's see, can I talk to you? No, I think I have to actually go into the into the prison and talk to him. Okay, so you and your L2 and Mela. Okay. We'll just let all three of them out. They should make an army, collect all those mercenaries, and then I can easily catch them. And I can just let them go until we have max relation. And then I can, I can see if, if they want to join me. I don't need to drop a bunch of money on them or anything, but if they're, they'll join for free, which I, I kind of doubt that will happen in this version of the game, but we'll see. Mila, where are you? Where, where are you? Oh. Okay, I guess maybe she's just not there. This is faster to look through in here. But I don't think I can take them from this screen. Okay, I don't have Mela. That's fine. So, I guess since they have a party member that's free, I shouldn't even have to do this. But, um, you guys get out. Go make an army. I'll see you soon. Let's see, what have I got? You guys can go in there. You're, you're okay. Be that, these and that, you, okay. No, there's some stuff, okay. So I better visit these. So they're not raiding anymore. I don't know if they're going to just come right back. Yes, and no, big streamers have cried the freedom as they tested recently with showing DMCA content while knowing they could get a backlash. Was one day ban or so. Smaller streamer have been banned probably forever. Yeah, I noticed that's a big thing. A lot of times, like, they want to show something and then they, they either have to mute it so the music doesn't play or, you know. Yeah, I just, I don't want to, like... I feel like a lot of offensive language is just not being creative enough to like say what you want to say because it's really it's just like certain words you know they don't want you to say and you can probably describe the idea another way and it's okay so but I don't really know I've been Doing this off and on just for like a, a couple months now, so I don't really... Like, I watch people stream, but I just kind of casually watch, usually while I'm doing something else. I have no real idea, like, what they can do and what they can't do. I just kind of assume it's like being at school in a class, and, you know, you can say a lot of stuff in your sociology class, but you can't say that word. You made all the girls cry, and now the teacher's... The, talking to you after class and you know you know you can't say that well we said you say whatever whatever's on your mind but we didn't mean that guess i should force you now i don't i don't feel like it come here Esther has escaped. Who's this guy? Oh, that's him. I just let him out and he's running around. He wants to recruit these troops. Well, no, no troops for you. I'm taking them. You can't have them. 
Oh, he can't make an army because he doesn't have enough troops. Okay, somebody's up here. Look at them, they're waiting. They're gonna attack when I get up there, okay. I guess it was not necessary for me to let them out because they they made an army anyways. This is Bagai's army. Okay. Here we go. What is that? Did they also make an army? Oh, she made an army too. Oh, good. We're we're starting to we're starting to become a real faction now. Okay, I know it's a bad joke, but your current pickup line could be, want to see my prisoner collection? Yeah. It's pretty impressive. I have an impressive batch of prisoners in Mountain Blade. You want to see my prisoner collection? No. <laughs> Let me see. Go over here. Guess we should. Oh, I don't think I can even move back further. All right. Two. That's not going to cut it. You have to go in a line like that. And you have to look that way. Or you come over here more. You have to look. Look that. One. Okay. Four. Look that way. Okay. One. You can be in a shield wall. Okay. Okay. I have to do this every time. Okay. Three. All right. This shouldn't be a big deal. This isn't a real army. It's funny. This character, though, is is shopping for a new husband now. Or her husband died, and we can get a new one now. But it's just, I don't think they marry you when you're at war. I should try though. I should go into the prison and see if any of them will talk to me, and if that, if they're discuss that topic. I think they have to be at peace, which kind of rules out all the Kuzates for a long time. Yeah, I just I don't have time to go looking for another NPC and I think I already made like three or four kids with this character so that's that's enough probably because it's gonna take a lot of waiting to make more so after you have about three the chance just drops down a lot like it goes from you know about 15% a day and then it goes down to like eight then it goes down to like six and then it's it's probably like about a 4% chance a day now to make more children. Okay. Four. Face enemy and move. Oh no, not that way. That's not what I wanted. I said over here. I said over here. Okay, one. Get him. Get, get, go up there and do something. Okay, now four come down here. I want you to get behind them. Go right ride through them. Any day now, formation one. Any day. Okay. It's a lot more infantry than I thought I had. I guess I have borrowed troops. And I have recruits and a lot of oh and also I have several other parties with me. That that's a lot. Uh 
I got uh Again, you saved our necks. Truly the best friends. Okay. Don't don't want to drag all those around. That. Bad guy has died in battle. Well, good. Good. It's one less to worry about. Influence. As I said, get 10 a day. That's That's pretty good. Let's go continue getting troops. I wonder what they're going to do, if they're going to try to siege something or if they're just playing around. see Let's see how much room I have for companions I have lots of room for companions so I've been kind of using them all up so you I'll hire you you're not very good but just so that I have extra people hanging around yes come here and then we'll put you right back right back in here just so we know you're you're there if we need you, and we can kick them out if we need to, too. It's not... Nothing to it. Let's see. Garrison. Got a bunch of junk in here. This is good. Oh, we'll leave it alone for now. I should head head up north. I don't really get up there. Oh, oh look, mercenaries. You're gonna go in the castle? We'll see you in there soon. Not just yet though. It's soon. This guy. Come here. Okay. Garain ha definitely has his father's intelligence. So you can have steward skill. Intelligence. You can have steward skill. Social and vigor. I get, okay. Oh, he won't give me that. Oh, wait, let's see. Can you do it? Yes. Give them to me. Just I'm getting a scouting skull when I run around like this. Oh good, they took my cat back. You guys gonna just hide in there? That. Yes, since I don't have special troops with me, I can just start sending the troops too. Keep forgetting that because look at that, I didn't even lose one. That's luck lucky. I mean I have a lot of tactics, but still that's lucky. The thing is if we lose too many, it defeats the purpose of doing that to try to take their troops in the first place. But But Losing one's okay. No. Considering most lords' personality traits, it would surely be a success. Yeah, it should be pretty impressive that I did all this. I mean, this is a. As, as, I mean, they don't they don't know about reloading the game. They don't know about that. So to to them, I'm just um I'm just really lucky and everything has just worked perfectly. Like all my sieges go exceptionally smoothly. I've never lost a battle. 
you know, everything, everything is really remarkable because they don't know that I just, I reload the game if I mess up. They don't know about that. So yeah, this character should be really impressive. It should be like, they should be, you know, trying to marry you to their royal children. Although that doesn't exist in this game. The royal children are just, you know, just another clan member. They don't inherit anything. So, but if that did exist, let's see, what is that? Okay. I don't care about that. Go here, go to that. If that did exist. They should, I'm pretty excited about this character. Although now we're not a, a commoner anymore. We're just a, uh, we, we are a ruler now. So I guess, is they should be even more excited. I'm going kind of far away now, but I think I think we've kind of crossed the line where we don't really need to worry about the Kuzate that much because I I don't they make an army. It's not going to be very powerful. And we do have our own army now. Let's see. All of this stuff. I guess we need to head back this way. Got a Batanian pony from Beast Whisper. Who is this? Esser. What are you doing? You're gonna go on the trees? Yeah, go on the trees, see what happens. I'm gonna be lazy. I mean, unless that's still, we might lose three anyways, so it's not. You know what, you, you go, you go, you get out of here. See you again in like five minutes. Oh, I could have took those looters too. Oh, you too. Come here. Chagan. Let's see. Oh, they still have both their castles, though. Now you gotta go to jail. We won't try to auto calc against them. They're probably. Probably not be worth it. Oh, okay. Only 28 horse archers. That's not that many. We got a lot more cavalry than I thought, though. What are you going to do? Are you... They're, they're bringing everyone, so we just need to get... Get over this hill so everyone can see, and then... And one can advance, two can advance... Or not two. Two, two you stay there. Five can advance. Three, delegate command. Should be fine. Oh, what happened? Oh, I got... I left them all the ways out there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, 
We gotta move up. They're not gonna charge me now because because I left my archers all the way up there. Now they're they're trying to run away. Go on infantry. Turn into medicine skill. Two, come over here. Shoot at them. Shoot at those. Two. Look over there. Look at that. Look at those horse archers. Shoot them. Okay. Every everyone charge. I don't care. Who who is is he trying to run or is he I don't know, I feel like this battle is done. There's three things still fighting. Where are they? Yeah, you gotta go to jail. Sorry. Take that. Take all these. Leave all that. Okay. Ooh. Kinda kinda far out there, but back this way. I'll let them be for now. A cosin added to the party. Okay. Hmm. All these. Let's keep doing this. Want that. Nine's pretty good. That's a lot of, a lot of free troops. It's interesting. That this is the Western Emperor. I wonder if, um, oh, okay. So that, that went a little differently than I thought it would be. Because I thought that they would join the Crusade. But I guess they opted to join the Western Empire instead. Probably because the Western, yeah, because they're at war. So I guess it, they choose, they choose the faction that, that's at war with their owner over the original one. So that's good. That's nice for me. Just as long as they're not Crusades right now, and then eventually, though, we'll start spreading out. So let's go here. Take care of this before I forget. I 
Let me see. I should look at this too. How's our powers coming up? Now yeah, have five clans. So, I mean, we're doing good. So we can go in here now. See any? Okay, yeah, I'll. I'm gonna hire both of you. I don't have to go looking for people. Yes, you're perfect. You're, you're alive. You're where I'm at. You're perfect. You're perfect for my clan. Let's see, someone, someone. Let's see. Can any? What do you have? Yeah, you can wear that. Or that. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff for you. I'll sell it this time. Oops, that's too much. Let's see. Let's see what can we get? That will cost about that much. These cost about that much. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Anything going here? Let's see. What, what do you have? No, I don't want that. No, I can't help the looters. Let's see. Yep, well, I feel like a 10 to 1 advantage, we should be able to send the troops. Lost one horse archer, one of these. I mean, that is kind of a shitty loss, though. We'll let it go this time. I'm not going to reload for it, but... I'll take I'll take your special troops. I like those. You guys... We could potter. Remember to do this. Take those. Our troops. It's good. Also, you come here. <laughs> this is going to get me every time I open this. It's just something about her posture and how big she looks in this armor. And this, the, the, with this, like, this is just. It's the same face as a lot of them make. It's the same thing this face the Spice Vendor is making, but it just looks very... I don't know. It's pretty amusing. Let me inspect your troops. I want you to have all of these wounded troops. It's kind of petty, but you can heal them and get medicine. You can't give her the borrowed troops, though. Oh, well. And don't force recruit this one. And he won't let me do it. Because I'm already doing that quest. Which, you know, why can't I... Why can't I do even more? Okay, they don't have any troops. Nope, oh, can't do that. We already did that recently. Hmm. Let's see, how are you doing, Chaikon? You are big garrison. Let's see the ruler. Let's see, are they 
they're poor, but he still has a large garrison. I think I would rather spread out this way first and just leave it isolated here. By the way, did you plan on creating all your vassals, or do you take some existing lords as well? Well, my plan is, if, it, if at some point I have enough money to recruit a clan, and I have the opportunity to do it, all um, I will. But so far, like in this game, I've been using a lot of the loot to uh, promote troops so that I can, you know, stick them in garrisons, uh, just replace lost troops and stuff like that. So that's been cutting back on how much funds I get. Um, Because usually, I mean, you go beat up, say, an army's worth, you usually can get about 50k worth of loot. And, you know, that adds up. You probably are going to spend, say, 200 to 300k to recruit a normal clan that you have decent relations with and they don't have a feat. It could be sometimes, like in this version, they might be more greedy. I've seen a lot of reports about that where people are saying, you know, they just won't join me. They want way too much money. And if that's the case, like if they're for some reason wanting, like say they want like 800K, that's just not worth it because uh, it's not that important. Like the time to stop and say, oh, I want to get 500K more so I can recruit this clan. In that amount of time, you know, I could, I could just keep progressing, and then, in the process of getting that money, I would get a lot of influence from defeating parties, and I could just make another clan. So, so it's kind of like I want to do it opportunistically. Like, say, if I have 200k, and I, when I encounter um, uh, an enemy clan, they have good relations with and they're let me have the dialogue, then I might recruit them. But it's not necessary. Like in my past game, what I did is I did it at the same time. And I ended up rapidly having like all the Kuzate lords and then all my clan lords too. I did pretty much the same thing here. But then as we expanded out, I, I landed all the, the Kuzate lords outside of this area. And that's pretty good because they're pretty mobile. Uh, even if you give them land, like out here, they'll still come back and recruit Kuzites and make a lot of horse archers and stuff. So, so I probably will recruit some normal clans, but it's not necessary. And like, it's just it's thing like this resource, you know, I need 500 influence to make a clan from a wanderer. And let's just say I need 300k to get a get a normal clan so it's just balancing the two so i don't want to really go below this amount of money but at the same time there might be times where i have an extra fee and i don't have the influence but i have a bunch of money and then i can try to do, grab a clan and just give them the fee The one disadvantage, though, like if I take those Kuzate clans, they're good, but that also means they start getting a lot more influence, and they start voting for themselves. So like when I'm trying to make a new clan or give myself a castle so I can make a new clan, they'd be voting for themselves and running me out of influence and stuff like that. And their they're vote for wars a lot more, too, just because they'll get more influence because they're already a higher rank clan, so they have more bulk to their parties so they do better but it you know it'll also defend you but it, it is a trade-off to where when you make your own clans they start off weak but you can boss them around for a lot longer before um see oh you're you killed my villagers because this is what happens when you don't no nobody is killing the looters i guess i guess i have to do it I don't even know if I should send troops against that many looters. We'll try it once. Okay, that was okay. Yeah, I'll put you in the jail.
look at my gears and make sure I still have all this. That's good. Let's see, and take out, take out all this stuff. You too. I guess you can live in the garrison. You're a special troop. Oh, here it is. I'll put it back. Okay. Okay, that's too much. So what can we get? We can get some war horses. There, that's fine. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff here too. Go to the dungeon. I think... I think I'll be okay if I go do another siege now. I think I want to leave Chikand isolated and take this first and then i have that whole area virgin escaped okay so i should still keep recruiting troops on the way though l2 what are you doing go make a make a army and Collect all the mercenaries so I don't have to chase them around. Let's see, did I get that to 150 yet? Nope, not yet. Oh, they they stole my idea. They stole my idea. Yeah, I, I wasn't trying to attack you. I wanted to go to this village here. My problem here is that we know the AI often doesn't really commit to sieges. And like, if I join them right now, I can't make them attack. So they can sit there, like, building stuff over and over again, getting it destroyed and run out of food and then go away. And, you know, so there's nothing I can do to make them, make them do this. Let's see, what have they got? They've got... So they should be able to do this, assuming that these are decent parties. I would rather do this myself and have them go go around and patrol, though. If I can go do this one instead. But then if we take this one and not this one, that's going to... I mean, it doesn't matter. If they take this, I might have to do something tricky, though, and like cheat them out of it. Like, use the 500 influence... To just make a new clan and give them whichever one is taken first and then use 20 influence on the election to give the other one to myself so i can make another clan when i get 500 influence again is they don't need to have two castles they're not gonna take care of them or do anything with it yeah i had demands ranging from zero to 500k kind of all over the place yeah and Part of it has to do with your power. So once I get all of this and they, they start actually building it up, it will affect the willingness of the normal clans to join me. 
but then I think there's also a problem where um, the more clans you have, like at a certain point, they don't want to join you anymore. Because to me, I found like once I had like 20 clans, no matter what, nobody wanted to join anymore. Even if, you know, like on paper, just looking at their situation, it seemed like, you know, oh, you have the you have a really big faction. You have the biggest faction. They don't have any money. They don't have a thief. You know, why wouldn't they join you? You know, you have good relations, you know, everything seems fine, but they just, they would never, they would never join. So, and I know part of that is, like, the amount of money that they would want. Like, there, there is a, let's see, where are these guys going? They're going down there, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here. Well, maybe not, maybe I should just take Shikan first. I guess I should do that then. Then that pushes them all up there. Okay, he's making an army. We'll see what he does. Got our 200 scouting. Can't be a governor, so I guess I have to take this one. That one's good. This is the good one, though. We'll eventually get up there. Oh, wait a second. Can't remember if it'll let me do stuff like this. Can I look at my... Oh, good. It lets me look at my party. I need to do all of this. Want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and we're saved before too much time goes by. No. Looks like everything's going okay. Back here, give me back my arrows. In fact, if I take all three of these, I'll have more ammunition. Oh, that's even a broken one. That's not even good. Okay. Seems to be limited by clan tier and maxed at some point, but no clue where it is. Probably you're meant to make most of your vessels yourself. That could be, because it did seem like it changed um, in the update when they added the ability to make make the vessels, because... Before then, when you could only recruit clans, I didn't didn't recall that happening. But I don't know. I don't know if I ever got that many either. I need water. I am drying up today. I don't know what what is going on today. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that one. Okay, it gave me reinforcements is what happened because there's so many people on the map. And now they're not going to listen. This is another bug, and this has been reported too, that like your reinforcement waves won't listen to you. You, you guys, come back here. You can You can stay back here with me. Yeah, they're just gonna get shot up. <laughs> Here comes the. Yeah, now, now run away, please.
Oh, no ballista. No ballista me. A very big garrison. This is about several times larger than their garrisons usually are. Even though one chunk is poor. So I don't know. That doesn't seem, seem reasonable to me. But then again, I guess when they're all in jail, they don't have anything else to spend their money on. But I feel like even just having the whole clan in jail for so much should have some effect on the thieves. Doesn't though. Oh, I forgot to bring the engineer. Oh well. <laughs> I think I did anyway. Well, I'll see. Either way, it's not a big difference. After killing some of these, though, I shouldn't have that problem in the next attack with the reinforcements because they're, they should all be able to just spit on the map. there. My hand's starting to turn into a claw from aiming and shooting like that so much. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy, and guess I'm doing a very repetitive thing. But that's how I get hit in the hit in the knee by a militia, though, is by kind of spacing out and then doing it, and then then I'll just ride into them and they'll get me. Let's see, 71. That that's pretty good. Seventy-one down. Oh, I have so many though. Let me see. Yeah, I left my engineer elsewhere. Okay, I don't care. Oh. 
I'll do a save as again. Shark hand, siege one. Although I'm feeling pretty safe now, I think. Skin, go on back, back to the map. We went over here, please. Every, okay, close enough. Everyone, oh, they didn't do it. I guess we're still. I don't think that's right, though. Because we have, like, four... Fi we should be under a thousand here. This should be under a thousand troops. Let me see, unless... I accidentally messed up the option here. Let me see. Nope, we're on max. So, I don't know why we're... having this problem. I'm gonna get behind this rock, close my eyes, and pretend I'm not seeing those troops walk up there and get killed. Just, just, just because for some reason. Yeah, so there were a little over 400 troops. There were 400, 432, and then over here you have. Yeah, so there's less than a thousand. So I don't know why it's giving me a reinforcement wave like that. That won't obey the command. Tree, 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 tree. No, no, no. Oh. Having some quiet time right now. It's because... Starting to feel. I don't know, it's a combination of feeling dry and it's kind of a headache, too, I guess. I just feel. feel worn out. Even though, I mean, it's just sitting here playing a game, but. When I'm not streaming it, I usually. I'll take a break. 
fairly frequently. Like, I usually do, like, a couple battles and then tap out and come back to it later, but... It is nice to just have have a playthrough to archive and then have all the like timestamps of like different things. Like if I want to show someone something. Um and also just to kind of show how the game goes in the mid games. I think that's something that's kinda of missing right now is um No 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 no. It's stuck on the tree. No tree. Try something after this. I'm gonna try to slide all of my troops into the sister's party and use them in the siege under her party so that they can all give her medicine skill when they get knocked out. I haven't tried that before. I do the opposite usually when I have a good medic so that all the troops are, you know, for my clan parties anyways, are under my medic. But. Getting her her medicine up when I'm not using my best troops is pretty important. I mean, I could probably just get medicine and be alright, but might as well do it. I see. It's still a lot. I still have a lot of infantry. They still have, yeah, they still have 60. I gotta get rid of those. Otherwise, they'll just stand in front of the ladders with their shields. We won't be able to shoot them down. Okay, now this time, they definitely shouldn't make force me to have like reinforcements. Let's see, yeah, everybody, everybody go over here too. Everybody retreat. Go. Still having a problem. Everybody retreat. You guys, or follow me. You guys, if you want to shoot some guys with me, you can. Come here. Don't do what you're doing, though. Don't do it. Okay. You guys, come up here. Ooh, I don't like that. It's a bunch of arrows coming. What happened? Okay, that just looks like infantry. I don't know. I guess nothing happened. Where did the other ones go? They're over there. Okay, you guys just run away. You're not helping. I thought they could potentially stand here and shoot a few of these as they approach, but they're not going to do that. Oh, we're getting some other troops out of the garrison now. All 
these guys. Oh, I guess I could go into Chaikan. I don't know if Chaikan has a good place to, to snipe them down, though. It might. It might be the same as the other, the other town. This used to be, like, my first town I would take in, like, really early versions of the game. When you didn't have to worry about, like, security and loyalty. There weren't any rebellions. Like, it didn't, you know, it didn't really do very much. You had to take a town really early by yourself and just kind of squat in it. And you could also make peace really cheap. Like, you could make peace with anyone in the faction. And it would just depend, like, on their current situation. So, you take this town... And then I'd go talk to, like, you know, some little shitlord. And they'd want, like, you know, like, 5k to make peace with the faction. And then they wouldn't be able to attack you again because you're not a real faction. Don't you throw things at me. What are you? What are you? Canyon Skirmisher, okay. But they changed that, so now factions will, they typically will want about 200k to make peace with you. If you do that, like if you just take their fee and you're nobody and you go try to make peace with them, they want like 200k. So you can still do it, it's just not um, as great of an idea. And if you wanted to do it multiple times, you you know, that becomes a lot harder too because you're going to have to have that money every time you go to take a new new fief and then try to make peace. So what I do now is I just build up until clan rank 4 and just fight normally. And then once I start taking their fiefs, I don't ever intend to make peace with them until I, I've completely taken all their land. Oh, I don't have to ever bother paying them for peace. And I don't take the thief early because I want to pass the loyalty and security policies right away. So I don't have to worry about that stuff. Because the bonuses are, you know, they're pretty good. They pretty much make up for any hideouts or outstanding village issues that you just can't solve right away. And, and like the early game, what I would do, I would just make Kuzate Raiders. I would make about 40 of them. Um, I think I would usually, I would usually get to plan rank four, like in the process, and then I could get more. But I would usually have about 40 or 50. Then would go siege a town. And let's see, gotta do math here. How many? Got five left. Got 19 arrows. We'll call for it. We can retreat from within. We have to. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me with the ballista. This is probably the stupidest thing to do to ride straight at it like this, but I gotta get through. Gotta get through here. Oh, oh no, I don't like it. That is slowing down way too much. Oh, really, really laggy. Let me see. They have... Four spearmen. Minus one that looks like they're running away. So I guess it, I guess I'm expecting three to fight. So I can probably shoot them, and then if I can get an arrow barrel, arrow barrel, I should be able to kill a lot of the ranged units. 
Okay, here comes one. Are you running or are you fighting? You won't. I'll shoot you anyways. Probably isn't the best place to wait for him, but... As long as I'm on one side, they should run over to this side, and then I can ride around them. It's so laggy, though. And it's just because I think, like, this isn't optimized, because I don't think they think that the fight will be going on back here. With this many units in the map. It's like, there were a lot less, and it doesn't do this, but... Oh. Okay, oh, there they are. They're coming. One, two, three. Oh, didn't get him. Oh, it's lagging so much. Oh, there's two of them. I thought there was one, but it's two. Okay. Oh, stop it. This is hard. This lag is hard to deal with. I might be better off just retreating and doing a normal siege than trying to mess around back here. But... Oh, okay. Can I jump over that? Go over! Did I do it? Okay, good. Okay. Oh man, that... Stop it. Get him. Shoot. No, no, we're stuck. We're stuck on something. Okay, go, go, go. Oh my god, if I could just... Just... Stop lagging while I shoot, please. There we go, come on. Oh. I just guess that that's when the... Fry's hair lines up. Because it's a little... There we go. Okay. That part is done. I wish I could look at like the overhead map, because I know I know where I need to go. But sometimes you run into trouble trying to get there. So I need to go over to the left corner here. I think it's that tower that I actually want to get into. But I might run into a whole bunch of troops. Okay, there they are. Go 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 go, go 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 go, go go go. Go, go, go. Can you ride the horse in? Ride the horse in. Go. Oh, it's so laggy. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, boy. This. This kind of bullshit is my specialty. Now, if I get up there and there's not an arrow barrel, though, I'm gonna. Well, I'll just I'll just retreat and do the normal siege. But you never know. There should be, as far as I know, they've added an arrow barrel up in here, and I don't think there's a troop in here either. I have seven arrows, though. Give me those. Let's just peek. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at them all. I don't know if up here is the best place to do this. There's a few places where I can get them from, but we'll try. We'll start here. We're just, just loose and move. Oh, it's still so laggy, though. Okay, that's not a good idea. I think it might be a little too laggy for me up here. What would be really good is if there's a dead spot where they just won't see me. I don't know if that's the case. I think they just kind of know where I am. Even though they're running all around like that. Maybe if I shoot, like, back there. Let's see there. You shoot oh no, they're shooting me. Okay. A 
the options are going down to the floor and peeking out the door and shooting him. Yeah, it was going pretty fast till the horse got stuck going through the door. Yeah, this is this is kind of a bad idea with this much it's kind of lag. I mean, I think as long as I do it like input wise, it shouldn't matter. But it still it feels it feels bad. Okay. That's a lot of arrows still coming through. I think there's just so many different angles that they can get in there. Because it's not just these ones, it's also the ones back there and back there, and it's just... I don't know. Just let it shoot. Get back. Oh, someone's hitting me anyway. Okay. I know there's places... Where I oh no, I see a guy pointing at me. I don't know. Let's see, maybe Let me go over here. No, it's almost the same, but I maybe this will cover me from some of them if I pop out this way. I see them pointing. That didn't hit anyone? <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of arrows. I should be doing this. It looks like a lot of arrows coming through there. Sometimes it's still whiffing. Oh, maybe I'm hitting the wall. Even though it feels like there's, it's so dense right there, it should always be hitting something. Okay. All right, that's enough. <laughs> it's just a little too choppy for that right now. We got him, though. Let me try my experimental idea. Unfortunately, I won't know if this works properly until after the battle. Um, if, you know, say she throws away all of my troops because they don't actually fit in her party. Yeah, all of you. Oh, I can't do though. I can't do these ones. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you too. You go in there. You have a big oversized party. Because as long as um, time doesn't pass, she shouldn't kick any out. And so she should get all the medicine credit for this battle. Everyone, Everyone go up, get close. Spread hey, out. Five. Seven. Go up there. Move. Two. Seven. Go up there. No one shoot me while I'm doing this. Time out. Time out why I ordered the troop chat. No, but not. I'm worried that when I see that clockwork thing, that's like telling them to to do something else. And I don't I don't don't need you guys to do nothing. Just Okay, I'm in the danger zone here. Okay. Don't shoot me. Don't do Oh, what's that? 
Someone got hit by the ballista. Everyone spread out. Wow, that is... That is bad. Two. Get close. Get close. Get real close. Get right there. Are they not listening? They're not listening. Okay. Five. Get closer. No ballistas. Two. Get close. Get close to those ladders. Shoot all of that stuff up there. Oh no, don't block me in. I guess two just doesn't have most of the archers. But we'll still let him sit there. She can soak up all that medicine skill and I better hide. I don't want to get shot by something. Let's see back here I can kind of Oh, someone's trying to go up the ladder. I didn't say go up the ladder. I guess I'm just going to let him because there. this is the position where the ballistas can't shoot him and they should be able to sh shoot more of the accusates and they, then they take losses. So, the, you know. We'll just let them do that as long as they don't keep doing it. I think it's probably the reinforcement problem where some of them spawned in as additions, and they're not following my command. But... I know that that one's been reported already. That if you get reinforcement spawns in the siege, they don't listen to your commands. Which might not matter if you did a normal siege and you just, you know, uh, charge them up the ladders, whoop de doo but... I want to do this. I want to minimize how much resources I'm losing. Otherwise, what's the point? I mean, the main point is that the Manchung won't have it anymore. So it'd be a nice time for something like the, the RTS command mod where, you know, it would let you just take a bird's eye view when you want to in battle. So I can kind of observe this a little better because I don't want to go out there because if I get shot again, then they're just going to charge up the ladders prematurely and, you know, it's going to go a lot worse. Even though we're about ready to charge now, they're down to 47. Let's see. Two. You can charge because you're not... I don't think they're doing that much. <coughs> oh, I see them going up one ladder. Okay, because they're pushing the other ladder down. Now they're going up. Okay. Because I feel like like my sieges are like the opposite of like if I watch anybody else play Banner Lord on a stream or in a video, it's like they're they're riding around and like being involved, trying to go up the ladders, you know, doing stuff like that. And I do the opposite. Like I go in first, and I kill a bunch of them in an underhanded, cheesy way. And then when I go on the actual siege, I hide behind a wall so I don't get shot. And I don't know, it's kind of funny. But I, I feel like this is the best way to do it because I just, I, I say I, I'm losing less than my resources. So that's good. Okay. So... I'm going to save as, because in case something funky happens with that. Like she throws out my troops or something. And did it work? 
Med. I remember what I'm talking about. I think we already did bulk of the fighting, though, so I think I can actually just take him back now, and then I shouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, you give me those. Those. You keep those. Give me the healthy one. Well, all this she have? Okay, let me let me have them all. And then you can have the damaged ones. That works for me. Even those. Make sure you get all of the wounded ones. Go and we have even more. So let's see. Do we have some weird stuff? We have we have looters and stuff. I think. I have those. These. Probably what she had before. There you go. You're all full now. One more. Okay. And we can attack. And I want to send, use all of these. Not that. I want to use her troops if I can. Let's see what else did I give her? I gave her those. And these, we'll start with those. It's fine. Not me, no, don't shoot me. No, no, no shooting me. Don't shoot me. Are you shoot, gonna shoot me? My bow's so fast though, it should be so faster than yours. I should be, yeah, that, it doesn't, they're, they're just as fast as me. Oh, let's see. It's, it's all archers. Because I killed all the infantry, so... It's, it's, I, it's my fault. They're up there, ready to shoot at me. Let's see, change that POV. <laughs> there we go. Because maybe I should have used the weaker ones first if I wanted more of them to die so she could get medicine. I guess sending the heavier infantry. <laughs> I mean, either way, doesn't matter. Oh, Willow Bark's in there. I don't, I don't really want them to go into battle. Game doesn't care what I want most of the time. Nice. Brother went in too. Brother dies, and I have to reload the game. Okay. 
That happened to me. Okay, I got athletics. There we go. Okay, take them all. All the stuff. Tip the influence. Show mercy. Okay. Everything is fine. Ooh, who's attacking Makeb though? Probably the Northern Empire. None of my business. So, let's see. Things to do here. And check that garrison. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to go into the garrison. Let's see. Did she just throw all that stuff in there? I'm surprised it's healed already, though, because I gave her wounded stuff. Okay, yeah, these... I'm keeping those for now. I mean, presumably this is going to become my garrison, but... Just in case, we don't want to lose cons guards. So, okay, that's a fine garrison to start with. So... We'll just wait here. Oh, we'll do that too. And wait for the election to pop up and see what happens. Curious with, okay, they gave up on their, they gave up on their siege as i thought okay yep give it to me you guys you guys got enough to take care of already see i named named the other spice vendors party the spice girls they're they're mostly guys though they spawn male clan members but i don't know I wasn't being very creative. Let's see, how's my money? Okay, so I'm actually getting a positive payment. I have four towns now. But really, I only want one town. It's just I'm getting kind of backed up and making enough, um, making enough clans. So they did not follow through with their siege, which I kind of expected. I expected they wouldn't. All right, well, I'm going to end this session now because it's about as much fast-paced action as I can, I can take at one time. And thank you very much for stopping by and talking with me. And if anyone watches this on YouTube later, thank you very much too. Let's see. Should do that too in case anyone's AFK and then comes back while I'm doing this. Right. Good night.